You've probably heard the it's enough slices sound paired with all manner of online phenomena in the past couple of years. Did you know that this sound was actually created by the world's busiest music nerd, Anthony Fantano, back in 2021? All right. Okay, that's good. That's good. It's it's enough slices! At any rate, this audio was utilized by Activision for an ad for their new Crash Bandicoot shoes, and Fantano asked them to take it down, which they actually did, which is very surprising. However, Fantano also asked them for a large sum of money for using his work without permission, saying that he would initiate litigation if they did not pay up, which ended with him being sued by the company. Activision alleges Fantano is attempting to embark on a scheme whereby he selectively threatens to sue certain users of the Slices audio unless they pay him extortionate amounts of money for their alleged use. Anthony has not, as of the writing of this video, yet publicly responded to the issues, although it has certainly thrown the online world into a tizzy. Many are discussing the implications of the lawsuit and whether or not it's actually going to go through. It's a little confusing as Activision also states the sound is in the TikTok audio library and is therefore fair game, although it's not clear whether it was added by Fantano himself or by a third party. It brings to light questions surrounding fair use in meme culture, and what is considered intellectual property and what is not. Can a person sue a company for using their meme if the meme was uploaded to social media? It's an age-old dilemma facing internet culture as the creation of memes is obviously an artistic pursuit, but what happens when that artistic pursuit is shared millions of times over with no compensation? Fantano seems to think it's okay for his work to be shared amongst the masses, but when a massive corporation like Activision does it, then it's not okay. To be fair, Activision is pretty well known for its exploitative practices, so it would be nice to see them taken down a peg or two, but if Fantano wins, does this mean memes will start becoming unshareable? It's an extremely interesting dilemma with perhaps no clear answer, but this situation definitely demonstrates a discussion surrounding the position of online art. Not to mention, Anthony Fantano has himself held a deep position in meme culture for many years due to his consistent reviews of albums, as well as his prior shitposting project That Is The Plan, which has since been deleted, so it isn't as if he isn't aware of how online movements work. In short, Anthony Fantano being sued by Activision due to him first threatening to sue the company over the use of his It's Enough Slices meme is a pretty wild concept, but ultimately one that brings the bubbling tensions and arguments surrounding meme culture's place in copyright over the decades to the forefront. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>